This year, three of the country's top 10 coal producers went bankrupt. There were the latest casualties of an industry in decline. U.S. coal production is down more than a third from its 2008 peak, and it's expected to keep falling. Kentucky Energy and Environment Secretary Charles Snavely is a former coal executive. He delivered a grim prognosis for the industry at a conference in May. I think that the risk is more to the downside than the upside. And if we're already projecting a significant decrease over time, I think that it will probably be worse than that. President Donald Trump campaigned in 2016 on reviving the coal industry. He has loosened pollution regulations that he says are holding the industry back. How about we give that to the miners? But coal-burning power plants are closing across the country anyway. Advances in drilling have made natural gas cheaper. And the cost of wind and solar power have plunged. It's happened faster than expected, says University of Wyoming economist Robert Godby. Market forces have moved the coal market to a place most of us didn't anticipate in a really short period of time. And coal industry jobs have not recovered since Trump took office. The shifting market is one reason emissions from coal worldwide were down almost 1% this year, says Global Carbon Project Chair Rob Jackson at Stanford University. Uh, one thing we're seeing is a really rapid drop in coal use, both here in the United States and also in Europe. I mean, both places, coal use for this year alone is down about 10%. Um, which is just, just uh, you know, really surprising. But coal use increased this year in India and in China, the world's largest coal consumer by far. That nearly canceled out the declines elsewhere. And both countries plan to build more coal plants. That raises concerns about future CO2 emissions. But those plants may not get much use. China especially has already built more plants than it uses says Tim Buckley with the Institute for Energy Economics and Financial Analysis. Every coal-fired power plant is only being used every second day on average. So you are really just building idle new capacity that's surplus redundant to the country's needs. But even as coal declines, greenhouse gas emissions from burning oil keep climbing and natural gas use is soaring. That's bad news for the climate, Jackson says. I think the offsets, uh, the decreases in coal in countries like the United States and Europe just aren't enough to, to, to stabilize global emissions and, and ultimately drive them down. To really tackle climate change, he says, the world has to get serious about cutting all fossil fuels. Steve Barragona, VOA News.